Okay, I haven't looked in the mirror this morning, but I'm assuming I'm having another bad hair day. But that's not gonna stop me from making a video for you guys whenever and wherever I see content appear before me. And here I am in San Diego County on the corner of Nibbets and Central Loma, if you wanna come and see this for yourself. And it starts out with the cutest little bug ever uh, right here with the color coordinated with the property with the uh, blue gate and the uh, literally the same color house as the bug itself. They're indiscernible. Uh, unfortunately, the bug is in, in uh, sunshine and the uh, wall is not. So the wall appears darker than the bug, but I guarantee you, if you were to uh, put sunshine on that wall and this bug in front of it, you wouldn't even see it. Anyway, let's talk about what's going on here. That's not the only cool thing here. Like again, the house is a beautiful blue. I don't really see, I can just imagine what the inside looks like, but I'm not gonna knock on a door. But look, here used to be a queen palm, right? Queen palm got big, whatever. Got your nautical theme of anchors and dolphins. Uh, and of course, tropical palms, which are so ubiquitous here and emblematic. And then you've got these wonderful carvings. Look at the carving. Look at the tail. Look at the tail of the parrot. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Let's get a close up. I love it. So, but there's more. So let's just keep cruising around. This was a tree that was growing in the ground and they cut it down. Anytime you cut a palm down or, you know, especially a palm, but just about any tree, you could uh, do something fabulous like that. Keep that in mind. We also, I'm just noticing here that we have some really nice uh, tile work. You know, to kind of uh, you know, set off the theme a little bit. But uh, Sago Palms, look, you've got the nautical theme going with uh, shark eaten flippers. The person just barely got away. Uh, more anchors. Uh, looks, like that's a, looks like that anchor is a little bent. <laughs> Maybe that's why it's here. Uh, you've got yourself a whale right there. Uh, some shells, uh, of course, broken surfboards, probably eaten by a shark. Uh, this is the first time I've seen this in a landscape, uh, other than my own. I have a big shark bitten <laughs> surfboard in my landscape. And then, um, of course, there's your net in case you want to catch some fish. And looky, 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 a giant pelican's head from a palm tree trunk. How cool is that? And you, of course, you've got your little float right there. And it uh, looks like you've got some more floats. I'm not sure where you find this kind of thing, but I bet you the inside of this garden is super cool. But the outside looks this great. Here's another queen palm trunk that has been transformed into, yes, another parrot. Look at that. How beautiful is that? I think it's wonderful. All right, and moving right along, we've got all our classic San Diego succulents running around. Gaves, Bucarnia. Looks like a, a uh, mortared to the wall starfish. You've got your nautical rope. Um, cute little gate with palm trees on them and more fishnet. What else? Oh, look, here's like a, I guess you use that for your boat, to get on your boat. Um, there's the guy. That's probably the guy who lives here. This is like going into direct sun. You probably can't even see it. I apologize. Uh, dolphins. Um, look at this big prop. Big prop. It's a big old prop on the boat. And all kinds of cute little fish and shells. All kinds of fun stuff. Uh, there's a, I see a lighthouse. Do you see the lighthouse? There's a lighthouse right there. What else, what else, what else? Some beautiful, look, okay, this used to be some, look at this cute little house here. The mail, is that the mailbox? Someone living there? Hello, anybody home? Um, different shells, another beautiful, big, giant uh, prop. And uh, this used to be two Mexican fan palms here, I could tell from the type of trunk. Let's see if I get better lighting for it. And now there are two gorgeous pelicans. So pretty. Um, and of course you can adorn your 
king palms with various floats that you find washed up on the seashore. Uh, what else? What else? Look at there. We get to look a little bit inside the house. Right there, look at um, all kinds of interesting things hanging from the umbrella. The umbrella is actually <laughs> just kind of <laughs> made from all kinds of interesting metal things. And you got your, uh, if you ever want to do nautical, now you know how to do it, right? Now you know. You get your, uh, your old oars. You never throw your old oars away. Uh, what else? Another lighthouse. And moving right along. Never throw your flippers away. That's a good thing to have in your nautical theme. Any flipper will do. And they don't necessarily need to match. So, um, yeah. You know, get your suns out here. And your Mexican tile. And then, of course, you know, just make some inset beautiful uh, flippers in your gate. Get a really interesting pull for it. And there you are, my friends. You've got yourself a really beautiful nautical theme for your nautical garden.